Oh, hello there, welcome back. This will probably be my last video before I leave, simply because I will be packing down my computer and uh, thus I will not be able to edit any videos. But uh, today I will just very quickly be going to town to sort out uh, my driver's license. I picked up an international driver's license about two months back and uh, it's valid for a year, but since I'll be staying in Japan for a a full year, I need one that's valid until August next year, so I'll try to renew it, or rather, just get a new one today. Then, once I return home, I plan to come back here, and uh, I'll do a little bit of an update, like, telling my story, like, what am I doing, why am I doing it, what's the, what's the entire process that I'm going through, and, um, yeah, hopefully that's going to help to kind of give a bit of an impression of what's going on in my life rather than just oh look at this I'm moving off to the other side of the world like mysterious stuff that I did in the last video but um, yeah um, I've got uh, got a time for the the driver's license thing so um, I'll be going off to do that right now and uh, then I'll probably see you here back here in, in a little bit it is currently 9.26 and I'm all ready to show up and get my international driver's license renewed. They only open at 9.30 and my time is at 9.46, so I just found a little spot to sit here and talk. You'll have to excuse the sunglasses, I can't really go against the, the sunlight here, so um, yeah, we'll have to do that. But uh, I think I'll, I'll show you the little, little square I found here to wait. So, it's a nice little square that's just here. Not much is really happening since it's like a regular Monday morning at half past nine. But, you see the building over there? That's where I need to go. But, uh, yeah, I'm still waiting. So, just, just sitting around here for a little bit, just waiting. That's it. It is now 9.55 and I have done all that I came for and I now have a new international driver's license that is valid long enough. So, back home, I don't really have much more that I can pack right now, but uh, hopefully I will get a final arrangement with a moving company soon so that I can sort of deal with that. And we've got a few things that sort of need to be well, packed essentially, but uh, not really things that I can pack right now. But um, yeah, going uh, going back home now, and then uh, I'll see you there. All right. So funny story. I was waiting for my passport with my Japanese visa to show up in the mail today. That was sent from Copenhagen by a friend who picked it up at the embassy for me. But uh, it didn't show up. So, I contacted the postal company, and it turns out that it had indeed been sent as a registered letter, as, as was the plan, which is why I can track it, but instead of being sent as a registered quick letter, it was just sent as a regular registered letter, so it won't be here for a few days. They do claim up to five days, and um, up to five days, it went out last Friday, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday comes after Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So, at the worst case, I'll be getting it Friday, and I'm leaving on Saturday, so uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be fun. But anyway, let's uh, let's just turn back uh, turn back the time a little bit and uh, and go over the visa part again. So the way it works is. In order to get the, the visa, the work visa to stay in Japan, I had my new employer in Japan apply for what's called a certificate of eligibility on my behalf, which meant I had to send all of my documentation, like all of my uh, documents from, from university and like my, my exam papers and all my employment uh, verification, all the, all the, the documentation that uh, shows that I'm actually worthy of entering the country, uh, I had to send that to my employer in Japan. They then had to go to the immigration office in Japan 
to apply for this certificate of eligibility. The certificate of eligibility then is, is basically the paper that will certify that I am eligible for a visa. So I had to take this paper, I got that in person when I visited this summer, um, I had to take this paper and show up in person to the Japanese embassy in Denmark, which is in Copenhagen, as mentioned, and that's in the other end of the country, but you know, so I had to take a flight there. Uh, that was very, very quick and simple process. Like less than 20 minutes after I showed up at the embassy, I was out the door and everything was sorted. The following day, they called me from the embassy telling me the visa was done, so I contacted my friend over there to have him pick it up on my behalf, and he then had to send it to me. And uh, Yeah, now we're here where it hasn't arrived, so yeah, good times. But also, as I promised uh, earlier this morning, I felt like it might be a good bit uh, to get like a bit of a perspective of, of what's going on here. So I think it started uh, last November, uh, after I came home from a trip to Japan there. I was feeling kind of, kind of restless and uh, felt like I had to do something to get away from, from my daily routine. And um, that's why I started uh, looking for a job in Japan. And uh, I've been looking, well, I, I officially really started looking in, in January, been looking ever since, and then finally, uh, after applying for a few of them and uh, doing a few Skype interviews, I finally got this one in, in June. And so the entire time since then has just been spent preparing for the move. Um, I was off on holidays during summer, so that just kind of cut out a little bit of my preparation time, but um, yeah, I'm mostly sorting out what to bring, sorting out the visa stuff, sorting out the international driver's license, which, as you know by now, turned out to not have a long enough duration, so I had to get a new one of those. Uh, also, getting all the proper shots and vaccinations and whatnot, uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff suddenly if you're staying long time in Japan. And uh, actually just uh, this week on Wednesday, I'm getting the final part of some of these shots, so hopefully I'll be protected from all the bad diseases that, that could happen. And um, yeah, essentially we're just, uh, just, just waiting now. There's, uh, there's not much left to do other than unpack the things and get them sent. I'm still waiting to hear the final uh, offer from a moving company that I'm in touch with, depending on how much I'll be bringing and stuff. But uh, yeah, hopefully that stuff will be sorted out uh, today or tomorrow so that I can uh, I can have it sent over there. But really, the the whole thing about sending things to Japan, it's, it's massively expensive. And also, a lot of the quotes that I've received are like, yeah, so you can expect to receive this in maybe six or seven weeks. It's not, not, not really super, super convenient. Uh, but the final, the, the company that I'm in touch with now, they offered me a seven day delivery. Simply because other, part of the delivery is so expensive that, that even doing the expedited not ship transport delivery um, doesn't actually change the price overall much. So hopefully I can I can get that sent out later this week and uh, receive it fairly quickly on the other side. Otherwise I'll be um, yeah I'll be stuck living out of my suitcase for a while over there. Hopefully I can, uh, can sort that out. Yeah. But anyway I think that just about sums up what I wanted to say today. And um, as I mentioned previously, this is most likely going to be my last uh, last video before I leave. I might make some more recordings before I leave, but uh, I will not be able to actually edit the videos before I get my computer on the other side, so um, I guess I'll see you in a couple of weeks time.